It is Friday, August 28th, 2020, and this is your Three Gorges Dam update. We have four pieces of information to cover today, including flooding rainwater in China remains steady as the world anxiously watches the Three Gorges Dam. Also, courtesy of The Lancet, floods in China, the pandemic, and climate change. Next, courtesy of Reuters, China books record weekly U.S. beef purchases also buys U.S. corn. We also have some new photos and some new footage. Let's hop into it. And a brief caveat before today's video. While researching for these reports, I come across information from various sources. Just because I decide to include a piece of information doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with it. I like to let you decide for yourself. Moving on. And a quick look at the status of the water level at the Three Gorges Dam before we get started. The current water level at the Three Gorges Dam is 163.81 meters. That is down from yesterday's 164.40 meters. The current outflow is listed at 33,900 cubic meters per second. And the current inflow is not listed, although yesterday it was listed at 32,000 cubic meters per second. It is worth noting that these numbers are released by the CCP. And let's have a quick look at the projected 3 and 10 day rainfall forecast for parts of the upper Yangtze Basin. Over the next 3 days, Ya'an City is expected to get 8.37 inches of rain. And over the next 10 days, they're expected to get 13.19 inches of rain. And one quick programming note before we get started. Once this story passes, I will still be doing videos on the happenings around China. If you're interested in following along, just look for the videos titled China Update or China Report. And our first article comes courtesy of La Paz County News. Flooding rainwater in China remains steady as the world anxiously watches the Three Gorges Dam. Flooding in China has been continuing as storms drop rain in the upper basins of northeastern central China. The basin feeds both the Yangtze and Yellow Rivers, the two most prominent rivers in eastern China. The Yangtze flows through the heart of Wuhan and eventually empties into the sea at the city of Shanghai. The Three Gorges Dam is the largest dam in the world. Originally in 2014 when it was constructed by the CCP, there was wide criticism and speculation from around the world about the engineering quality and long-term safety of the project. As the dam withstands the largest flow of water on record, with more rain on the way, that skepticism is again creeping up. Problems with smaller dams upstream combined with an at least 12% above average rainfall this monsoon season in the region, have led to severe flooding in the towns and fishing villages along the Yangtze River's banks. At least 400 tributaries of the river have completely flooded, and hundreds have died. Images and videos have shown the dam utilizing at least eight of its overflow spillways, as dam operators try to make room for more incoming rainwater. With so many communities already underwater, and tens if not hundreds of millions of people still downriver, the sight of the spillways open full throttle is unsettling at best. From here, the best case scenario is more and increased flooding. But if the skeptics of the Three Gorges Dam are correct, total devastation of everything and everyone along the river is possible. Along with the towns and fishing industry, much of the region's farmland has been underwater for weeks, killing off the crops for this season and leaving a highly saturated growing condition behind. The CCP has been importing seedlings and crops to the farmers in the area as an emergency solution to try and provide food for the affected people but it's unclear if those crops will have any chance in the saturated ground and with more water on the way. China has also purchased the largest American corn order on record, in line with the new China trade deal and also probably in an effort to bolster their agricultural capacity during this major disruption in their production. American farmers couldn't be happier 
as they were heavily subsidized through tariff money to put production into full gear in preparation for the new trade deal with China. And this comes courtesy of The Lancet, Floods in China, the Pandemic, and Climate Change. And the first couple of paragraphs of this article basically recap the events that have taken place in China since June. I'm going to jump ahead in the article where some new information is provided. Health effects could occur directly through contact with floodwaters, including drowning and injuries from flood-related events like building collapse, electrocution, and fire. Although deaths directly caused by floods decreased between 1950 and 2018 in China, the magnitude of the indirect health effects is largely unknown. There are increased risks of and deaths from cardiovascular disease and diabetes after flooding, possibly due to interrupted health services or social support systems. It has been estimated that mortality in populations affected by flooding might increase by up to 50% in the first year after a flood. Importantly, floods increase the risk of communicable disease outbreaks and infections like hepatitis and gastrointestinal disease, especially in areas with poor hygiene and population displacement. Contaminants in flood water like sewage, human and animal feces, fertilizers, organic waste, and toxic chemicals could lead to infections of the eye and skin and could increase the risk of exposure to poisonous material. Floods could also indirectly facilitate the transmission of waterborne and vector-borne diseases by expanding the number and range of vector habitats. It's also not clear how the floods in 2020 have affected the mental and physical health of Chinese citizens. Thank you for watching this video. If you're finding it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe. And this comes courtesy of Reuters. China Book's record weekly U.S. beef purchases also buys U.S. corn. China made its largest weekly U.S. beef purchases on record last week, followed by its biggest U.S. corn deals in almost a month this week, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture data released on Thursday. The USDA, in its weekly export sales report, said China bought a net 3,315 tons of U.S. beef in the week ending on August 20th, the largest weekly buy in records dating back to 1999. China also bought 11,216 tons of U.S. pork last week, the most in a month. China has been aggressively importing beef, pork, and poultry this year after a years-long battle with African swine fever, a deadly hog disease that has decimated the country's pork sector. In a separate report on Thursday, the USDA said China bought 747,000 tons of U.S. corn for shipment in the 2020-2021 season that begins on September 1st. The agency also said 140,000 tons were sold to undisclosed locations. The deals come amid a recent string of sales to China, which vowed to make record U.S. agricultural purchases this year as part of its Phase 1 trade deal signed with the United States in January. And our last piece of information is a series of interesting tweets.
and I think that's a good place to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found it informative and check back soon for more content.